Welcome to My Cool Inventions, a favorite segment of the week. I love this segment. It's called Tech Talk with my buddy, Niall Nickel. This guy's a genius. This guy actually is one of the smartest tech guys I've ever met. And I've met a lot of tech guys. He always surprises us with cool new things. And I was kind of giddy when he came in because the cool new thing we're going to talk today about is drones. Let me tell you something. I always found the drone thing kind of annoying. Right, I always think that I always think they're going to come over and they're going to going to tape me while I'm with my you know big fat butt in the pool or something. And I thought that's what they're going to do. And, and that bothers you. <laughs> yeah, nobody saying. should nobody should see that. Seriously, <laughs> that shouldn't be out there on a video. And I've always worried about privacy issues. I always thought that is it really legal? Can they come up in the uh, year, yard and they can they? But I have seen some good applications. I was house, I was doing some house shopping and some of these big uh, realtors are doing like these drone flybys, which is kind of cool. So what's up with Drones. What's going on? I mean, is it is it here to stay? Is it going to stick? Do they figure out other cool things to do with drones, or is it just one big annoyance? Well, you know, everybody's been talking about drones, and and like you said, they're thinking about this nice, beautiful aerial footage. Yeah, you get out in the wild, or you're zooming yeah. down the beach, or you're doing the circle around the house, you know, a few hundred feet up, and it looks pretty neat, right? Right. But you know, most of it's been hobbyist stuff, and and everybody's worried about the privacy right. and flying places they shouldn't fly, flying into aircraft and all of that. So I thought I might try to change your attitude on drones just a bit. Well, you're gonna try to give me some positive, great things about drones. We're gonna give you some positive, great things about. Drones. All right, so okay, I'm open. What do what do you got here? So first off, what you probably doesn't don't know is that drones are now finding their way into all sorts of different uh, governmental organizations. Like spying on me? No. Like, like like the NSA going around? No? No. Like, no, okay. like rescuing you, like oh. helping fight fires, what? like helping with the rescues, like all sorts of stuff. How does it rescue happen. me? So, okay, there I am in the ditch or the Grand Canyon, and I'm sitting there flopping around, and I need to be rescued. What happens? Well, you know, what you have today is you've got the ability for drones to drop life vest, what? to drop supplies that things? you might need. Those little things. Uh, huh. and, and as a matter of fact, we'll have some video that will talk about that. But, you know, just to give you an idea, we, we threw up an image there of organizations that are using On the map. around the country, Look around at the map. Look at that. Almost you know, everywhere. You know what it reminded me of when you just first said that out loud? The St. Bernard dog in the Alps. Yeah. It's like my St. Bernard dog. He finds me, digs me out, and hands me a drink. It's fantastic. Well, you know, one of the other things that they're doing with the drones right now, speaking of the St. Bernard dogs, they're, they're typically snow rescues, right? Yeah, yeah, snow rescues. So they're taking the drone into landslide or avalanche areas, and they're having the drone drop avalanche charges to cause the avalanche oh, so that's that cool. they're relieving the avalanche uh, threat. Sure beats a guy climbing up there and is risking his life to try to do that. Yep. I've always thought or, you need a fighter jet helicopter. going in there. <laughs> and then it's <laughs> avalanche. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so a lot of things like that that are going on. But, um, you know, we've had uh, situations where people are lost. Right. They can't find them. They could fly up the drone. The drone That's could cool. do a wide area search. And guess what? You could have literally a, a thousand drones for the lower cost than you can one helicopter. So we're talking about those little uh, Forb helicopter dealios that raise up, they hover around, got video cameras yep. out there. Yep. So you're saying that they, oh, they're, wow. What's now, you got there? What do you got there? Now, this here is a drone that's been developed by AT&T. What does it do? In fact, they call it the cow. Now, the reason flying they call cow. it the cow, right. the flying cow, is it is a communications drone. Right. So uh, they used this in Puerto Rico recently. All right. uh, we wipe out all the cell towers. They're trying to get communications with people. They could actually fly this drone up. It's tethered to the ground. Tethered. And that tether provides power so it could stay up indefinitely. And it provides remote cell service immediately wow. in disaster areas. Well, we should fly a bunch of those over North Korea, give them Wi-Fi service, and give them uh, cell phones, and teach those guys, and uh, maybe the negotiations will go different. Let me tell you, that's kind of a cool idea. That's up there, so, so cell tower, sort of kind of a remote uh, in, instant cell tower deal a with a drone. Remote instant cell tower I, or yeah. um, internet service? Internet service? I could use one uh, above this office over here. I think you sometimes uh, we need a little internet service over here because, uh, you know, uh, that Spectrum guy, so sometimes it doesn't work out that well. That's kind of cool. So drones used for cell, immediate cell tower service go out there and rescue you and find you and stuff like that. Well, you know, that's a kind of not an annoyance, uh -huh. kind of a good thing. 
kind of a good thing. What else we got? Uh, so, you know, if if we talk about the drones, we've got a couple of videos that, we that we'll talk about. First video that we have is a company called Zipline. Zipline. And Zipline is right. not operating in the U.S. just yet. All right. This is a little bit of a bigger drone. The reason why is it flies very, very fast, over okay. 100 miles an hour. What? And it has a tremendous range, about a 60-mile range. So it could fly 60 miles out and 60 miles back. Is it like a delivery drone? It's a delivery drone typically for medical supplies. Oh, that's cool. And so uh, the video that we're showing is a real-life story where they're using it in uh, the Congo area okay. to deliver blood immediately to remote hospitals and wow, doctors that's pretty where cool. people seriously need it. You know, they're suffering from malaria, they've lost blood, and if they don't get the blood literally, in some cases in less than an hour, they're going to die. So how quick how quickly can the drone hundred miles an hour? That gets pretty quick, right? Yeah. So the typical uh, drone delivery of the blood to the remote clinics is less than five minutes. Wow. And five minutes. So they're saving tons of lives uh, in in situations that wouldn't be possible for. So them. I just saw like look at an airplane kind of a drone. It whipped up there 100 miles an hour and yep. threw down the blood and the little parachute opened up and they picked. That's pretty cool. So it's it's uh, it's not even five minutes passes and the the guy's got the blood he needs and saves the guy's life. Saves the guy's life. Nice. And so it could deliver all sorts of medical supplies, whether it's drugs, whether it's blood, whatever. Right. And again, it's so fast that you're able to get it on site very very quickly. Now. We, I've got a lot of Is videos. Is Amazon today. watching? They're going to sort of throw drone packages at us too now? Uh, absolutely. What? <laughs> absolutely. Oh As a matter goodness. of fact, Zipline is coming to the United States. All and right. so it will be delivering all sorts of uh, product in the U.S. But we've got another drone that I got? sort of like. It's, what do you got? It's an ambulance drone. But, oh, ambulance drone. But all it's right. basically a, so it must be a flying big drone. defibrillator. What? But... The drone has a video camera on it, right? Right. Well, they've also put an audio port on there so you could converse with the drone. And right. what it does is uh, so many places you don't have defibrillators on site. And if you could get a defibrillator on site in less than five minutes, generally you could recover uh, like 80% of the patients from cardiac so, arrest. So, so, so you're out there, somebody gets a cardiac arrest, there's no defibrillator, a drone guy throw shows up quickly, gives you a defibrillator, and maybe a doctor or somebody talks you through if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, 911 call. Right. They identify where your cell location is. Oh, wow. They send the drone to you. Right. The drone has an internal defibrillator built into it. My goodness. You pull the paddles Get out of the out. side of the drone. You zap the guy. And by the way, there's a paramedic on the other side guiding you through the Love process. It. So it sees what you're doing. My goodness. It talks you through the process. And lo and behold, it's saving lives. So, wow! Uh, you know, you so don't how long, about how long, it, how long does it take to get there? Like, okay, uh, you know, I, I drop, I, I dropped here, and then, then all of a sudden, you know, you, you who do you call? Nine one one. Nine one one. So nine one one sets it up and sends the drone out to you in a few minutes. The average response in a metropolitan area for the drone to be on site is less than one minute. I'm speechless. So less I, well, than one minute. Less than one minute. So wow. it's going to get there faster than the paramedics are going to get That's there crazy. driving an ambulance. That's so, crazy. And, and oh, by the way, you've got a professional guiding you through the process that's able to watch you, monitor the patient. Uh, Didn't I tell you this guy's a genius? Who would dig up stuff like this? I'll tell you. That's our Niall Nickel <laughs> right here in Tech Talk. That's pretty cool. And the, I was worried about, the, I was thinking about the Amazon thing, you know. You know, you're sitting there in the kitchen and you're making dinner and all of a sudden you forgot the tomatoes and, you you know, less than a minute the tomatoes show up in the grocery store. Well, that could be life-saving, too, <laughs> depending on no, depending I, on the dinner. I, I think it's marriage-saving. That's what that is, not that, life-saving. That, that's sort of what I was that's referring that, to. <laughs> Uh-oh. Honey, I forgot the milk. Call the drone. No, no I didn't. Publix, I, I Publix it drones the, the milk in the <laughs> There you go. Here's the milk. Thing. I left it in the car. Let me run out uh, and get yes, it. Yes, that's awesome. So... <laughs> you know, you had mentioned uh, uh, about the drone dropping things. Yeah. And so we've actually got a, a video of uh, an Australian swimmer situation. What? Two boys got caught in a, a, a rip current. They right. got pulled out uh, about... Oh, a, I hate rip currents. A, I got caught one of those once. So it almost it freaked, freaked me out for life. Yeah, about a half mile they got pulled out. Holy man. Now, by the way, they calculated it was going to take about three and a half minutes to get the lifeguards on site. Right. But they are starting to supply some of the beaches that have more problems with the drones that could fly out and immediately drop 
this inflatable, uh, if you will, life raft. It's like a pod, right? Like a, yeah. like, like, an, like a escape, like a rescue pod. Like it's got your rescue stuff on it. Yep. So they could grab onto it and not drown. Grab onto it and oh. not drown. And oh, look at that wave. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm watching the video. The wave just passed over top of them. But, but they're okay because they're holding onto that yeah. rescue thing. And the entire rescue, as you see, from the time they detected a problem took 70 seconds. My goodness gracious. Quite quite possibly they would have drowned otherwise. Now, one of the things that we're seeing that's a little bit unusual, if you look at professional uses of drones right. versus consumer uses, right. we're starting to see a substantial number of the consumers using their drones to save lives. Love it. To locate people, find people, and all of that. So, you know, while you may not like that buzzing sound of a drone and, and the 12-year-old kid next door yeah. that's got it and flying it, yeah, guess what? He's going to grow up in a few years and he may be the one that's flying a drone to save your life. So the military is using these drones to you know, blow people up too, right? Well, they're using it for that too. And follow me around, right? But There's ACOS following but around. But DJI, which is a very common drone company, right. uh, has started documenting the number of saves. Wow. Just last How week, many? in one day, one day, they had four lives saved. By drones. By drones. Wow. Uh, since they started documenting it, the current number is at 131, but it's really growing daily. So you might start to think of drones just a little bit different than the way you've thought about drones in the past. Maybe it won't be quite the annoyance and and dangers, you know, to us that we we thought it would be. Well, maybe it's time to invest in drone companies. Here, there's a little business tip for you. Go on the stock market. I'm sure there's a few drone companies out there. You want to spot one, and because they're starting to do good things. My buddy Niall Nickel on Tech Talk here. I told you I love Tech Talk. One of the greatest things. We always learn a bunch of stuff. And if you want to get a hold of Niall or talk to him or give him some good ideas, how do they get a hold of you there now? The easiest way to get me is just go to Facebook. Go to Top Technology Tips. You could chat with me there. You could see some of the cool things that I post that we don't always have the time to talk about.